As red tide continues to impact Pinellas County beaches, animals are getting sick and some dying. But there is hope. County officials say that the effects of the bloom are getting less severe. But the big question is, will that trend continue? Eight on your sides, Pinellas County Bureau reporter Christine McClarty joins us live from Reddington Shores. Christine? There are 35 miles of beach here in Pinellas County, and as of this week, Reddington Beach and North are the most impacted by red tide. Many birds are in trouble. Sick birds coming in and landing on the shore. Holly Short with Audubon, Florida, says red tide is a food chain issue with birds eating dead fish. She says black skimmers nesting on Clearwater Indian shores in St. Pete beaches are a state-threatened species. They're having a difficult time finding a place to nest. So when they already have those issues, the impacts of red tide are just even more devastating. Pinellas County Public Works Director Kelly Hammer-Levy says red tide is retreating. We're seeing less high concentrations in Pinellas County. That's what we've seen over the course of the last about 24 hours. Okay. Um, we still we still have medium concentrations in, in some areas. She says those areas include Honeymoon Island, Clearwater, Indian Rocks, and Dunedin. Eight on your side asked, will the downward trend continue? We don't know. Since Florida is a tourism-based economy, some are worried about red tide keeping visitors at bay. We did receive an update from our, our partners at um, the St. Pete, Visit St. Pete Clearwater, and they said so far everything is looking good. You know, good. so um, numbers are still up way higher than 2019. We're vacationing, we're from Kentucky. Montana Miner says red tide isn't ruining her family's beach trip. We haven't really smelled anything. We just see like, like there's a puffer fish that we got a good picture of. And it was kind of cool to see him up on shore. Short says red tide has a ruinous impact on birds. Lethargic, they can't really stand, they're wobbly when they do. Um, they are not acting normal. And you can help by reporting any birds that you see acting strange to Florida Fish and Wildlife so the pros can step in and help. Reporting live on Reddington Shores, Christine McClarty, 8 on your side.